July the 25th. What's on your tombstone? When you see someone often flashing their flashing their rank or position, or someone whose name is often banded about in public, don't be don't be envious. Such things are brought at the expense of life. Some die on the first, first rungs of the ladder of success, others before they can reach the top. And the few that make it to the top of their ambitions, ambition through thousands, thousands in dignities, realize that at the end, it's only for an, in, an inscription on their gravestone, Seneca, Serenity of Life, 20. What's on your tombstone today? Where you see someone's, when, when you see someone often flashing their ranks or position, or someone whose name is often banded about in public, don't be envious of don't be envious such things are brought are bought at the expense of life some on the first rungs of the ladder of success others are the some others if others before they can reach the top and a few that make it to the top of their ambition through thousands, for a thousand dignities, realize at the end it's only an inscription on their gravestone. Sometimes our professional commitments can become an an end to their an end to themselves. A politician might justify the neglect of this of his family or office, or a writer might believe her genius excuses and his social selfish behavior. Anyone with some perspective can see that, in fact, the politician is really just in love with fame, and the writer enjoys being condescending and the feeling superior. Workaholics always make excuses for their selfishness. While these attitudes can lead to impressive accomplishments, their cost rarely just is their cost is rarely justified. The ability to work hard and long is admirable. But you are a human being, not a human doing. Seneca points out that we're not animals. Is it really so pleasant to die in harness? Asked Alexander Solzhenitsyn. 
put it, put it better. Work is what horses die. Work, work is what horses die of. Everybody, everybody should know that. Work is what horses die of. Everybody should know that. What's on your tombstone? Climbing climb, climb the ladder. The first rooms of a ladder of success. Different people are at different stages of a ladder. When you when you see someone often flashing their rank. Yes, social media, for example, our position, or someone whose name is often banded about in public, the news, all these names banded about, our prime ministers, our le the leaders, celebrities. Sports people, popular popular people, famous, so-called famous people. Or someone whose name is banded about in public. Don't be envious. Don't be envious. So we're looking closer at we're looking closer. Such things are such things are bought at the expense of life. So fame and fortune and recognition status, the class, amount of followers, likes, prince, queen, kings, princes, Sports people. It's all such things are bought at expense. It came at expense. All the recognition status, fame, fortune, glamour, power. It came and it, it comes at expense. It came at expense. So we're looking closely. Oh, okay. That's if they have that. They okay. We're looking. They have that. They have people know them. People, you know, the the names names are branded about. We know what they do. They claim. They they make claims. They they do acts. They they pretend to be leaders. They pretend to have power. They pretend to. Um. You know, authority, they claim to have authority. And so when you're looking at it without, oh, we might think, oh, we, I want that. I want that power. I want that. I want what they have. So this is the envy is an example of envy is I want what the, I don't have what they have and I want what they have. How do I, how do I get what they have? And we, we start making we start taking actions and behaviors and choices based on our the avatar we've created. They have something that we don't. So it's like looking what whites, how did they get that? The ladder, the ladder metaphor. Some things are bought expensive life. Some some die on the some die in the first first of the ladder. Some die in the first rings of the ladder of success. So yeah, you might start a business. You might you might fail in the first year, first six months, first three months. You might close it. Others before. Others before they 
of the default they can reach the top. And the few, so you have people who start start things and then stop it. They realize it's not for them. Quickly, you know, it's not an alignment and stop. I mean, let go of the ladder. Others continue, continue climbing the ladder, climbing the ladder, effort, hard work, time, energy. So that, that's the expense. And the people who reach the top, the people who claim have reached the top, are the avatar that we created in our heads that they've reached the top because no one has actually reached the top. There is no top. But it's uh, the perspective that we hold is that, oh, they've got everything they need. It's not the actual person. It's a it's a glamorization we, we create in our mind. And we, we believe that, oh, we, we might create this avatar that, oh, now they have what they want. They don't have to work hard. And I have to work hard to get what they want. You know, we, we might create an avatar that, oh, that person has got everything they need. They can just, in, they can enjoy life now. They can be free and they can do what they want. So we might create this this false avatar of, of that they can do all that stuff, but you can't. So you, we, I, we have to do what they, they, they have. We have to do what. We have to take action, make actions, choices, and behaviors to get what to get what that we think they have got to embody that, embody the freedom. We have to take. We believe we have to take actions to get what we think they have got. So this is a complex structures beneath the surface without looking at all these dignities, realize that it's it's only the it's only the inscription on their gravestone. They have all its success. We all live and die. Don't take you don't take your fame, fortune, wealth. So you might take your wealth mindset, but you don't actually take physical things with you. And it's just on a gravestone. This person lived such a year to such a year, and a short sentence. And the physical body, trend me. The physical body is there, lying, and the soul transitions. But it's the soul. The soul knows. You take this, you, you carry your soul away, your physical body. The physical body that is your the physical body, the identity, the it's all oh, this status doesn't go to the next thing. It's the soul. The soul is not, nothing. The soul is just the soul is well, the soul is everything. The soul is doesn't. There's no status recognition. It's just a physical body that has these desires of fame, fortune, acclaims, security out there. So envy. No, it's the envy. It's the envy. I want what they have. So we're looking closely. Oh, what are, what are these? What are these? What are the people that I'm envious of? What have, what have they had to do? To get that, and my mentions here that they may have about politicians might have had to neglect their family. Do you want to be a politician? If writers, if you want, if she believe that oh, that writer is kind of yeah, different um, personality types where you can sort of look. You can so can look deeper. Who am I envious of? Is it the 
is it a sports person? Is it a writer? Is it a politician? Is it a celebrity? Are you envious of what people's bank, what you believe people have in their bank account? And it comes at a cost. Everything comes at a cost. These attitudes lead to impressive accomplishments. Their cost is really, so the cost of accomplishment is just left on the green stone. Their cost is really justified. Is that, so what they're leaving on their tombstone, is it, is all this hard work? Does it justify But you are human being, not a human doing. Seneca puts points out that we we're not animals. Is it really so pleasant to die in harness? He asked. Thank you. Enjoy the day, my friend. Peace.